that was something that you know we like worked ourselves towards as a group and and came away really really pleased with the result of and feel like it really launches the movie and tells you like this is the this is exactly what the movie is this is the chocolate and the peanut butter you know what i mean it's the sweet and the and the and the absurd or the 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 profane if you will the story of the movie is how the four of them coming together, not only in the movie, but outside is just like something that I think audiences are going to love to see, not only in the theater, but like in the roll up and, and like the coming out of the movie. I think we're about to introduce, um, you know, the movie going public to like four incredibly new faces uh, and funny people. I think of like Ashley as like the point guard of like, I'm, you know, I'm kind of running the offense. I have to be a little more grounded than everybody else, but I still get to have, I still get to have fun. I still shoot every once in a while, but often I'm passing and, you know, letting someone else shine. And Sherry is bringing this just like incredibly aggressive comedic energy where she is just like a firecracker and just bringing like commentary on everything, a big joke to everything. She's driving, she's driving action. She's saying, let's do this. You know, Stephanie is bringing this like, um, you know, kind of highfalutin, slightly pretentious energy, slightly judgy energy, but then also has this like really warm, like gooey center to her that, that really, really works for the movie. And I think you need next to a character like Lolo, who is so outrageous and so aggressive. We did a table read, several of them had not met before, and they were instantly like best friends. I remember having a dinner with them um, shortly before we started shooting, and it was like they had known each other for 10 years. It was just like this absurd, like it just clicked into place. All of them had a lot of similarities to their actual characters, which also helped, and we wrote those characters toward them. Um, but the, the chemistry, I think, you know, James said this, it's what makes the movie go. Like the, the movie, uh, you know, we're so proud of it. The best thing about it to me is the chemistry between the cast. It is these four people and you believing that they're friends and wanting to be friends with them. And, and that is a tribute to certainly the writing, but it's a tribute really to those actors and, and what they build together. I think you go make a movie and it's like camp where everyone kind of comes together for a period of time and then everybody leaves and goes back home. And so, you know, we kind of had like our camp reunion in a way at South by Southwest a couple weeks ago. And I know that the cast has seen each other and they certainly talk, but like seeing them all together in that space was really interesting to see and funny and just fun as an observer to watch them kind of come together and come alive again. They all spent every waking hour together while making this movie. And I mean every waking hour because I, as the producer, often worried that they were not sleeping because I would see their Instagram posts at four in the morning with them just hanging out in each other's rooms. And like, I'm like, get some rest. We have to, sh we have your call time is 6 a.m. Like, what are you doing? But like, that was the level of closeness where they just, they lived in each other's rooms. Josh made really good friends with Baron Davis <laughs> on a movie called The Night Before, which he made a few years ago. Um, un true. Unbeknownst to me, he kept his phone number in his true. in, in his uh, in did. his cell phone, and there was always a role, kind of you know, as typically happens with these scripts, kind of an ND, it, hilarious, you know, athlete, you know, kind of person that we were going to write that was written into the movie. And you know, honestly, kudos to Josh. It was just like he was <laughs> like, I'm just going to call Baron and see if he'll do it. Um, Baron Davis likes to be in films. Yeah. And he enjoys the experience, and he was like. I'll do it. I'm in. Let's do it. You know, there was a, so and he showed up and it was great. Something that Adele Cherry and Teresa really said from the beginning, which was like, we want hot Asian men in this movie that the audience can be lusting after and that our characters can be lusting after. Um, and I think, you know, they did an amazing job of, of casting those guys as well. And they were so fun and game to come in and just kind of be, you know, a little bit objectified candidly. Um, and they were, they, were, they were down with that. And I think there was some kind of, you know, there was some nice payback there, I think, in, in a good way. And also, you know, we were obviously celebrating, celebrating them as well. So we, we really got an amazing cast of cameos and people to come in and do you know, the, the roles that filled out the movie that really balanced out our, our main cast and I think, you know, makes the tapestry of the whole thing work really well.
they're first time filmmakers in Adele and Cherry and Teresa. The first, this is the first movie that Adele's directed and the first film that Cherry and Teresa have written that has been that has been produced. You know, they they were people wanted to show up for them, and I think that's always exciting um, as a producer when you're partnered with other producers and a director that people really want to show up for, and and they did, and it was you know that was really that was nice for 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 Josh and I and Seth and Evan that like. Um, these filmmakers that we had bet on and were excited to sort of support in terms of making the movie um, had people that were excited to bet on them and come and sort of give yeah. them their best, you know. I think identity and like finding your place in the world is the thing that um, will make the, you know, the funny set pieces that and the and the character moments that we've you know that are that exist in the film, I think that's the thing that it kind of all ladders up to. That I think every audience is gonna, you know, I, that every kind of audience is gonna be able to relate to. Um, like, who am I and what am I doing here? These are all characters who who over the course of this movie find themselves, but really they learn to love themselves more than they do at the beginning of the movie. They're all characters who are in some kind of doubt about themselves. Audrey's in doubt about her place in the world and where she comes from and what she's supposed to be doing. And Lolo is struggling with balancing, you know, being an artist with, with having to be an adult in the world and the judgment that she receives for that. And Kat has some shame over her past. And Deadeye doesn't have friendships, doesn't have real friendships that they feel confident about. And so it's all about these people coming to realize like through this journey, like I'm, I'm enough, I, I love myself. I hope that's what the audience feels at the end of it. You know, I hope the audience feels like anyone in the audience can see themselves in one of these characters and come away from the movie being like, that's me and my friends, we're, the, we're awesome. You know, they're awesome, but that makes us awesome. Like I want everyone to feel like this movie is an insane party ride and also a warm hug at the end of it too of like affirmation of, of them and themselves and feeling good about themselves. It's really fucking funny. <laughs> like it's just as funny a movie as we've ever made. And it delivers, it lands the plane at the end about me being about something. And, you know, I think that like the, I, I couldn't be more proud as one of the founders of Point Grey to have produced a movie with the people behind the camera and in front of the camera that are in and behind this movie. Um, but that's not why people should go see the movie. The people should go see the movie because it's fucking awesome. 